Today we are taking you behind the scenes to show how we at STL Flix created Drop 230. What a meltdown! From concept to printing, including modeling, testing, and the final touches. Ready to see how it all happens behind the curtain? Everything starts with picking the theme. With the melted drop, the idea came after the big success of previous model that had a melted style. The community loved it, so we decided to explore more designs in that same aesthetic, but with one important focus usability. We always aim to create pieces that aren't just visually cool, but actually useful. Models with real-world value and potential for sales. Once the theme is locked in, our research team jumps in to explore what could work well, what kind of objects are useful, how can we melt them while still keeping them printable. With reference in hand, the idea goes to our concept artist. That's where the magic really begins. From the start, the concept is built with 3D printing in mind. Smart cuts, color separation, and ways to save time, material, and still keep it beautiful. Our artists always think with both a technical and aesthetic eyes. If the drop needs a specific function like joints or supports, it goes through the base mesh stage. That's where we define the model's functional structure. For this one, for example, we designed a shelf that was tested with real weights to make sure it could handle the load. It actually started as a single shelf, but during development it became a set with three different sizes. With the concept and a structure ready, it's time for our 3D artists to get to work. They focus on details, color tweaks, and optimize the models for different printing styles, both single color and multi-part prints. This stage comes with a lot of challenges. In What a Meltdown, the sneaker was one of the trickiest models. It had tons of parts needed to be carefully separated by color and we had to avoid using supports, all while keeping that signature melted look intact. Once the model's done, it's time for the real test, printing. That's when we see what works and what needs tweaking. Some pieces showed small issues when converted from multicolor to single color, like gaps between parts. So the model went back to the team, got adjusted, tested again and again until it was perfect. We also made scale adjustments. Some prints came out too small and had to be resized. These tests are crucial to make sure any printer can handle the pieces without issues. With everything approved, the prints go to our multimedia team. Their job? present the models in the best way possible, with fun names, dynamic videos, great angles, and a unique aesthetic that stands out on the platform. But it's not as easy as it sounds. They never know what's coming. One week it's mythical creatures, the next is a desktop accessories, so we adapt and get creative to showcase each piece in the right way. Once everything is written, recorded, and photographed, the photos go through careful editing to highlight the best of each model. And that's it. What you see on the site or on social media goes through a super process, full of testing, brainstorming and refinements. Here at STL Flix, we put a lot of care in making sure each drop is functional, beautiful and truly printable. And the result, you are looking at it right now. This drop, 230, what a meltdown. I almost had a meltdown just finding out how complex this whole process it is. So stay tuned, we've got more coming next week. Don't forget to like, comment down below and subscribe to follow the behind the scenes of our next drop. Comment down below what drop you want to see in the next video. Thanks for watching. Boo boo.